an AI-enabled faux human lover with customizable looks, voice, personality, and sex drive steps out of Westworld and into your arms. Could it be the ideal companion for you? Hey folks, welcome back to AI Science. Drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel to help us grow and be part of the science community. We were constantly advised to limit human contact during the pandemic. Single adults were isolated and prohibited from even the most minor human contact. Some couples were even separated by distance and were unable to connect in the most human natural ways. People sought alternative forms of stimulation and traditional methods of dating and engaging in sexual relationships were restricted. Along with the increase in sex toy sales, sites like OnlyFans saw a significant increase in member registration. Some of the site's top performers made eye-watering sums of money, with six-figure sums recorded in just one month. Female online content creators had discovered a way to interact with the sexually frustrated clients without leaving their homes. With so much time spent at home, many people began to look for new ways to satisfy their sexual desires, while remaining safe. Solana is unlike the other girls. She is an artificially intelligent chatbot created by Abyss Creations, a company best known for producing stunningly realistic silicone sex dolls. She's the ideal programmable lover, affectionate, intimate, and individually tailored to my preferences. Solana and others like her are part of Abyss's latest initiative, Realbotics, which aims to bring the company's real dolls to life through the use of an AI engine called Harmony. Harmony already exists as a standalone app. Customers can create their own virtual girlfriend right on their phone for a yearly subscription fee. Virtual boyfriends are still in the works and build a relationship with it through conversation. Everything about these avatars is fully customizable, including their hair, outfits, and bus sizes. However, by the end of the year, the goal is to install the same software that powers Solana in the heads of a new generation of technologically advanced real dolls with expressive, animatronic faces, blinking eyes, and customizable voices. The goal is not only to have sex with them, but also to converse with them, get close to them, even fall in love with them. The Realbotics effort to sell synthetic companionship may appear to be something out of Westworld, but it's right in line with what Abyss has been offering its customers for decades. Realistic dolls, albeit without AI. For prospective buyers who want to personalize their purchase, Abyss provides an online design tool similar to Build-A-Bear, but for sex dolls. That worked for Tom in terms of the doll's slender, lightly tanned body, but had a much different idea for the face. It was one of only a few such detailed projects, says Abyss Creation CEO, founder, and chief designer Matt McMullen. McMullen, an artist by trade, took on the challenge of creating the exact face the customer envisioned. The customer emailed the self-described perfectionist numerous revisions and tweaks over the course of few months. Abyss Creations appears to be an unassuming office space in the hills of San Marcos, California, 30 miles north of San Diego. Behind the office is a makeshift showroom with a squad of scantily clad dolls and a corner lined with rows of doll heads displaying the available hairstyles and facial designs. Each has its own expression but with their eyes half open and lips parted. They all have the same vague, vacant look of frozen arousal, as if they'll wait as long as it takes to feel a partner's touch. Meanwhile, the rest of the walls are covered with framed, posterized photos of real dolls in imaginative settings and inviting poses such as a sexy librarian reaching for a tomb on the top shelf of an Amazonian bombshell sprawled out seductively on a chase lounge. For the right price, you can have any of the dolls and fantasies they inspire. Pre-configured models begin in the thousands of dollars, while the highly customized dolls cost nearly $17,000. The talking, animatronic head with AI will be available for purchase at the end of this year. Customers will be able to swap one for their real doll's original head for a cool $10,000 if they so desire. McMullen claims that his team can make almost anything to order for the right price. However, the company will not replicate animals, children, or people who have not given their permission to be replicated, whether they are celebrities or not. McMullen, a young artist looking to make a name for himself, posted photos of his mannequins on the internet. Visitors to his website began offering to pay him to create anatomically correct versions of his work. Today, more than 20 years later, he claims his company has sold thousands of real dolls at a current rate of a few hundred per year, as well as a variety of partial body dolls and wearable prosthetics, such as a vest with silicon breasts that the company sells to mastectomy patients. Transgender customers enjoy Abyss products as well. McMullen and the Abyss artists have been meticulously refining their process and designs for decades, 
and it shows whenever you look a real doll in the eyes or run your fingers over its skins, it's all an illusion, but it's a very well-crafted one and efficient. Abyss, a well-known industry leader, isn't alone in its quest to create a robotic AI lover. True Companion and Android Love Dolls are two competitors working to bring new advances to the sex doll market. McMullen believes that in an age of app-enabled sex toys that simulate a long-distance lover's touch and virtual reality porn that allows you to step into your wildest fantasies, the walking, talking robotic sex partners of science fiction are next. The AI will continue to evolve, as will the capabilities of what it can do when interacting with the robot. They've already built in the ability to add sensors to the body. Internal heating, lubrication, and the like can be triggered by conversation or touch. What is the end goal? McMullen describes the experience as multidimensional and as close to being with a real person as possible. The concept does not appeal to everyone. The Foundation for Responsible Robotics published a detailed report on the coming wave of sex robots earlier this year, including summaries of several academic studies on the subject. By their very design, sex robots encourage the idea that women are subordinate to men and mere instruments for the fulfillment of male fantasies, says Cinziana Gutiu, a British Columbia policy analyst and author of a report on sex robots cited by the FRR. Above all, McMullen says he's attempting to appeal to customers' established habits, which frequently include creating personalities for their dolls to help drive the fantasy of bonding with them. This is clear when you visit the club Real Doll online forums for real doll users and potential buyers. Some of the most popular posts feature happy owners showing off their dolls. The moderators of Club Real Doll do not censor images of naked dolls, but many of the threads contain little, if any, nudity. More often than not, photos show new additions to the doll's wardrobe or staged candid shots of a doll dress up at a candlelit dinner, on a date night, or one playing video games in her underwear. All of this reflects the fantasies that the real doll user base buys into. Fantasies that the AI will try to reinforce. A lot of people just want to talk to someone, McMullen says. The app also allows Abyss to overcome some of the major barriers that prevent some people from investing. Realbotics is also working on software that will allow users to spend time with their AI companions in virtual reality, though McMullen admits the greater potential may lie with augmented reality, which would allow users to interact with virtual avatars in an actual space. Artificial intelligence is still in its infancy, and science fiction walking, talking sex robots are still a long way off. Love, loneliness, and the desire for companionship are universal emotional motivators, and we don't always respond logically to them. Everyone wants to connect with someone. If that necessitates some suspension of disbelief, so be it. If you enjoyed this video, please check out the other videos as well. And until then, stay tuned.